Welcome back to Angel Family Adventures. Today we're going to show you 14 RV upgrade and storage hacks that we've made within the last week. We think you'll get a lot of use out of them. We went to Target, Ikea, Lowe's, and Harbor Freight. Yeah, we found several things and like I said, we think you'll get a lot of use out of them. So stick around and we'll show you what we did. The very first thing that we knew we needed was a new mattress. So we got on Amazon and ordered this 10 inch Ole uh, memory foam mattress for $187. just our comfort. We put the kids in there as well. Got them these uh, little foam cushions for their bed. They were $10 at Target. We got one for here and one for up there. So another thing we knew we needed was a locking bathroom doorknob. On our first trip, we discovered that this doesn't lock and with Great Danes that are tall, they can just nudge that knob and unlock it. So we got on Amazon and for $18, we got the right thickness of doorknob, we installed this new one, now we can lock the bathroom and have our own privacy. I got my floor mat, went to Target, $15. I got two of them, one for the kitchen and one for the front door area. Gives us a little bit of cushion and a doggy place to sleep. Another thing that we found very useful was command strips. We got some for the remotes. Keep them up out of the way and in the same spot as where so we don't lose them. For our keys and to hang our dog leashes. We don't have them up yet, but we can also use them here in the bathroom for hanging towels as they dry or anything like that. We also used one to secure that air freshener in the bathroom as you saw in our shakedown trip episode. We also knew we needed a toilet paper holder. So we went to Ikea and we picked up this toilet paper holder and installed it right here so it's easy to reach. It's up off the shelf, easy to access. So if you'll excuse me. So we knew we need some storage around the bed because we want to put our cell phones, plug them into the charger, stuff like that. So we went to Ikea, picked up these rails and the rails are $4. They come with two baskets and five hooks. The extra baskets are 99 cents, but they hang up right there. They're secured to a stud. We've got one on each side of the bed, along with our USB plug there. So we can plug our phones in, put them in the baskets, put my wallet in the basket at night, whatever else we need. We've also got some in the bunks in the back that we'll show you real quick. he just told you about here in the bunkhouse. We have one here for this one and one for up there. Kids can put their water bottles at night, easy reach, little crayons, colored pencils or anything else that they need. Here's some of the baskets that we got from Dollar Tree. We can use these in various ways. Um, buried storage in our cabinets for our silverware. Um, in the junk drawer for all the junk. Yeah, if you're from the Midwest, you know what a junk drawer is. So there's several different sizes. Um, these two sizes came in bundles of two or three for a, a dollar. So stock up on those. We 
also picked up these clear, they're shoe organizers, but they work great in this overhead thing, as well as these soft side baskets. Um, they were $12 at Target and these were just a dollar. Another thing we picked up for storage in the bathroom are these number one and number two baskets. They were about $5 at Target. Seeing as how they say number one and number two on them, we figured they were perfect for the bathroom. Another thing we picked up at Ikea was this magnetic knife holder. So this installed pretty easily with a couple of screws into the side right there. And as I said, magnetic, it hangs up right, right there. Obviously that's not the knife we're gonna put up there, but with the kitchen knives, we can put those up there, get them out of the way as we're at a campsite. That way they're not just in a drawer or on the counter. Another thing we picked up at Ikea is this sink strainer. So this was around $6 at Ikea, and it will really help with putting various things in the sink, draining dishes, stuff like that. Now, you'll notice that our faucet is also missing. That's something we'll cover on a future episode. It's been a little bit of a pain for us. We had that nozzle sprayer that was broken, and we also had a drip at the bottom, and it's actually been a little tougher than we thought to find a replacement faucet for an RV. So the last few things we picked up come from a trip to Harbor Freight. We picked up two of these tool storage bags for $6 each. Now, as you can see, they're fairly good size. I'm able to put my drill, my tape measure, some wire ties and several other things in there. I'll keep one of these in the pass-through storage compartment up front and I'll keep one of them in the camper here for screwdrivers and stuff like that. But they're big enough to hold quite a few tools and they're easy enough to store away. The next thing I picked up was this screw organizer. So as we mentioned earlier, we have a junk drawer uh, I'll have these extra screws for different sizes in the camper in this, and I'll put that in the junk drawer. We'll have those just in case we need them. The last thing is this D-ring or carabiner assortment. I mentioned in a previous video that I use one of these to store the spare O-rings for the water hoses on, so I'll use one of them for that. I'll also use one for the breakaway cable when we hook up the camper, and then I'll have some spares for various other things. As you can see, there's several sizes in there. That was $3 at Harbor Freight, and we're good to go. So there you go. 14 easy and inexpensive RV upgrades and storage hacks that we found at local stores around, uh, around us. We will do our best to find links to all of these things on Amazon in case you don't want to get out and go to your local stores. Yeah, we'll do our best to provide links down below to all these items on Amazon, as well as links to all the stores we found them. So thanks for sticking around. We'll see you on our next episode. Hit like and subscribe.